me there. So yeah, I was you know going to my usually move, uh, try to get the basket, but um, at first I wanted to dunk the ball, but I saw Capella Kami, one of the best shot blockers in the league, so I decided to uh, you know avoid him mid air. Uh, so yeah, that was it. Joe Yeah, I don't know if you caught this, but your uh, the free throw stuff was again a, co a topic of discussion today. And to me, your friend Eric here uh, disagrees, but I thought you were quicker tonight um, at, at the foul line. Did you make a like a, a conscious effort to, to try to go quicker? No, no. It was uh, usually I take eight to nine seconds. It's always a uh, borderline, you know. 10 seconds and uh you know when uh you know my coach staff told me to do like speed it up i know that maybe i'm around 10 so or sometimes the referee talks to me and tell me like you gotta speed it up so um then i make an effort to maybe take it a second or two seconds faster but um uh, my mindset going to this game was still do my routine get as many dribbles as i can um get my breath and um just shoot shoot my shot uh, oh, uh, after game one, you seem so calm in the post game. Like I've seen other players where if they dropped game one at home, they'd be a little bit more frustrated. But you kind of like just go to game two, they play a good game, and then you all come out and play well tonight. How much of that attitude from you and other players dictated how well you played today? Um, you know, obviously, I was calm. It wasn't the end of the world, but uh, if we had lost today, I'd be a little bit more nervous. But uh, I, you know, I trust my teammates, uh, trust what we are, uh, our habits. Uh, I think everybody's on the same page. We know what we what we got to do, um, and um, everybody knew that we got to come in here and get this game. You know, so and uh, that's what we did from uh, the first uh, position of the game. But we took it each possession at a time. So we're trying to get one stop at a time and make try to make as many stops as we can possible for the entire game. And uh, that worked in our favor. But at the end of the day, uh, you know, this day is the guy's chance. You know, there's got to be some urgency, but we got, it, you still have, have to enjoy the fact that we're here, you know, because we worked extremely hard to be in the last four teams standing. Uh, but, you know, not going on the road, obviously there's going to be some urgency. Uh, we're going to try to play good good games, good basketball, and uh, we're going to try to have some fun also. Yeah, um, I think 20 fast break points in the first half. I know Drew trying to you know, leaking out at times if the big's got a rebound. He said, how, I don't know if that was an emphasis, but how important was it to get out and get running? This game? Very important, very important. Uh, they, they, they crash, they crash the board. You know, um, and they play fast too. And uh, they shoot a lot of long threes, so the rebounds are always long. So you have a lot of opportunities that you can you can run. And uh, we want to play fast. We play fast, but smart at the same time. And uh, we were able to do that tonight. Hey, honest. Um, I don't. Mm, know that I've seen you throw the deep ball to Drew before. What gave you the confidence to throw it? Tonight? Yeah, he was wide open. It was wide open. And um, the way where I had the ball, it was easier to throw. Usually, you know, uh, my first steps, it's like a dribble, but when I, when I had it, I was it was easier to like uh, deliver it to him. Um, for you, you and Brooke are different people, right? Yeah. But when you see him play the drop and do the, the jukes or the stunts or whatever you want to call it, where he's kind of playing. Unbelievable. Like it was unbelievable. Right. A lot of people don't give him credit, but he was unbelievable, especially in the first half. And he was playing on the drop, and he was like fucking fourth, and he was going for the blocks and all that. He was protecting the rim. He was, he was unbelievable. We need him to do this, to keep doing this. I don't even know if it's something you could pick up. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, have yeah. you, like, as, as you watch him, have you seen D different, uh, different uh, bodies, different skill set? Um, but in that game plan, I'm a switch. So I'm not, I'm not on the, in the drop. So usually when I'm in the drop, it's harder for me. It's way harder for me. So it looks like 7-1. But um, 
But in this uh, series, uh, moving forward, uh, I don't know what the game plan is going to be, but to, tonight the game plan was a uh, switch for me. So I just switched up to try to keep guys in front. So I wasn't in that position. Uh, for you, just watching you defend as well, I, I mean, obviously he's making it a lot tougher on Trey. Um, but for you guys, you're talking about the healthy guys being in the dribble lanes a little bit more often. How do you feel like that made an impact? On oh, definitely. Trust? Definitely. Like, it just uh, crowds, crowds the whole space for everybody. Um, and we, we have, that's like, we have to do our job. At the end of the day, Drew is picking up, picking up Trey full court. So we got to be behind him. He got to know that the self behind him. He got to know Brooke, me, PJ, we, we right behind him, right? So it's the least we can do, you know? So, uh, but I think that really makes a big difference, like showing, being in driving lane, showing, uh, help and making other guys make the play so he can pass the ball. Um, Steve? Yes, Jeff, and that's more for Just to turn to Joe Ray's performance, particularly the first half, was it just more aggressive? Or how were you able to do such, so much of a better job of the game and trying to ever get some pressure? We just tried to keep him in front, make them make a play. And uh, as I said earlier, we were like, we were in passing lanes. A lot. We show. We try to show helps. We try to show length. Uh, just make that place crowded. So uh, when you when you're active and you're ready, good things happen, and uh, we're able to uh, get some get some steals. Jeff, and then we'll go to Eric and respond to. Yeah, you just said it. Uh, how uh, put words in your mouth, but it's important to try to enjoy this since you're one of four teams left. Between the end of game one and the start of game two, what was enjoyable for you? How did how did you enjoy what you needed to do to get that? Nice. If, if for me, like the way I think about it is that like I've been I'm gonna be doing this for a long time, you know. So I gotta I gotta enjoy each game. And uh, this is my second time being in the Israel guys fans and playing in uh you know packed arena, uh, people that you know love us and support us and cheer for us. It's it's enjoyable, you know, and also there's uh, there's um, uh, enjoying factor when you go on the road and everybody's booing you and everybody's counting one two three four like you know there's enjoying you can enjoy that too. So what I try to do is enjoy each each moment. Uh, you never know when this is going to be taken away from you. Um, you can never take that for granted. And uh, as I said, I'm going to be doing this for a long time. So if I don't enjoy it, yeah, it's going to be tough for me. Malika Andrews. Hey, Giannis, I, I have two for you. First, Drew was talking about the fact that he felt like he was just smarter on defense, defending Trey tonight. I'm wondering what, what it means to you to have a teammate who takes his assignment so personally and so seriously to improve from game one to game two. It's, it's big. He, he did a great job. He did a great job. He set the tone defensively. You know, when you see your point guard picking up full, now you're, you're behind him. You're ready. You're ready to go. And... Um, Man, he did he did the unbelievable job. He he forced him into turnovers. He he made it as tough as possible. He made them play deeper into the clock. So when they were coming down, it was eight, um, 18, 17, 16. So uh we need that from him. We need it, need him to keep doing that. And uh he definitely helped the team a lot. And then for just like from you guys from game one to game two, the Hawks are saying similar things and you guys say we need to make adjustments. We know we can play better. Do you uh sort of race for and look at what they might do or do you just look back at what they have done or do you look at the possibilities of what could change does that make sense um that's what that's for coach but you know obviously we're gonna watch film tomorrow uh we're gonna see what we did better from game one to game two and we got to keep doing that and do it better to game three hopefully that's in the back of your mind what they might switch but at the end of the day we got to focus on ourselves and how can we get better, you know, and uh, put ourselves in a position to win to win a game. But we got to keep getting better each game at a time. And uh, from game one to game two, we're better. We're happy about that. Hopefully from game two to game three, we can be better. Thank you. All right, thanks, Giannis. Thank you, guys.